welcome to a new day, a new video. Um, it is Monday, and we are in the drop-off line right now, dropping Lana off at school. Lana, you want to say hi? Hi. How do you like kindergarten? Good, but it's a long day. <laughs> it's a long day. Um, he's, like, looking forward to the weekends. I think, like, the first two days was fun. Then the weekend was like, oh, yeah, and then he went back to school, and he's like, mm, what? I think it's definitely going to rain today. Um, I think so. It's kind of gloomy today. Um, he's definitely, I think, not over it, but I think it's just a lot on him. Um, but yeah, so he has school today, so we're going to drop him off. And then me and Asher are actually going on a hospital tour at the hospital where I'm giving birth at. And it's just, I don't know, I guess it's a hospital tour. I've never done really a hospital tour. Um, my last hospital that I went to was a military hospital, so everything was like in one building, um, and pretty like easy. So I never really did a one there. But here we have a little hospital tour, um, and we're going to be doing that. But my appointment isn't until, like, 10.30 for my hospital tour. <gasps> I have a crack in my phone. Uh, it isn't until 10.30, so I need to get there probably, like, start heading towards the hospital at 10. Um, but I think me and Ash are going to go to the store. I think we're going to go to Ross or TJ Maxx or something because I do need to buy, I need to go buy Eli and Theo their gifts. I need to go buy birthday gifts. We have birthday parties on Saturday for our friend's um, son's first birthday and then our friend's third birthday, son's friend's third birthday. So we got to go do that this week, uh, today, because <laughs> it's this weekend and I haven't gotten anything yet. Um, so we need to go do that today. Um... So that's going to be something me and Asher do. I already packed him a lunch because I know he's probably going to want... It's going to be kind of like in the car for a while. It's almost 9 o'clock now, so we're dropping Landon off. He goes to school so late, um, and he stays until like almost 4 o'clock. I usually can get here... Oh my god, look at my skin. I'm like so bloated. Um, I can usually get here right at like 3.10ish in the, like in the afternoon. So I usually get him by like 3.30, 3.40. Um, and then we're home by like 3.50. So it's really not too, too bad. Um, but yeah, the first like week was definitely crazy because like everyone is here. I have such bad hiccups. But we tried walking one day and honestly, mama just can't walk right now. I'm like struggling. It's, I think it's cause it's just too hot for me to be outside to be walking. Um, if it was like cooler out, I'd probably be better because my mom literally lives around the corner from the school, which is super nice. Actually, on Friday, I got stuck at the hospital after my um, uh, ultrasound for the biophysical for the baby, and because I was just by migraine, and because of that, I, they sent me to triage. And because of that, I ended up not being able to pick up Landon from school. So thank God, my mom was actually with Asher, and she was actually able to just pick up Landon, which is like godsend super nice for you know the days that she's off she actually be able to pick up Lana from school like she can literally just walk and pick him up it's like five minute walk not yeah. mm, I would say like maybe 10 minutes because the kids walk slow um but that's not a bad walk at all um I definitely think Mommy. even maybe once I have the baby I think it'll be a really good exercise for being the kid baby I've been walking to Elvis house uh -huh. I've been running so I've been trying to block him mm. to stop running. You'd be a good brother? Yes. Yes. But yeah, so I think like once the baby's here, I think it may be like a really nice walk. Just in the morning, get fresh air. Um, especially since I won't be able to like work out as much. Because um, I don't want to put him in daycare or anything like that. So we'll see where life takes us. I, would, I can't wait to get back on my fitness plan. Um, just not fitness plan but like my fitness journey um i haven't been to the gym in like over a week now because it's we i used to go at four o'clock with cameron and he gets out of school at like 3 50 3 40 3 50 and i just feel like after such a long day like i feel guilty putting him now in a gym for an hour like i know for him like he probably just wants to go home and relax for the night so i'm trying to be mindful of that at least for now until he kind of gets more accustomed to everything and then going forward i mean i'm 33 weeks so i'm 33 and a half weeks i'll be 34 weeks in a couple days so i don't know maybe i'll start doing a few workouts i've been thinking about possibly going in the mornings after drop off and like going with asher um 
But honestly, I just don't know because Ash doesn't really like doing things like that alone. I don't know. But I kind of want to just like, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, thank you it's for just been really hard for me to do anything. Thank you for Asher? At the gym. Uh, yeah, so that's the plans today. I have, I'm making sourdough. I did the, I started it yesterday, let it rise overnight, turned it this morning. Um, and we're going to be making sourdough bread today. I think I'm making feta pasta for dinner. Landon's favorite. Um, you could bring something to school tomorrow for lunch. I could put it in the thermos. Feta pasta. Would that be a good lunch? Landon's been so good about eating lunches. Um, we've been changing it up. I let him decide what he wants for lunch every day, and he tells me, and we just make his lunches that way. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a plan. All right, guys, so we went to TJ Maxx, we pulled up to Ross, and then we realized Ross actually doesn't open up till 10. So, TJ Maxx opened. So, we got a few things um, to share with you guys. I didn't really find anything for the kids for the toys, which kind of bums me out. But I did find this for the one-year-old. Um, you done? Good job, buddy. You're doing so good at putting on your seatbelt. Here's your snack. Um, so, yeah, I got this. It's just like a little on-the-go road and recovery mini. I thought it was cute. Oh, you know what? I don't think that there's a little person in here. I don't think it comes with a person. I think you can put a person in there, but got this for him. I found the Alika um, hand sanitizers, which if you guys know, I actually did a post with them last year. I love this hand sanitizer. Um, it smells so good. Um, and it's, whew, I'm out of breath. I got the pink grapefruit and the cucumber basil. Um, they are cruelty-free, vegan formulated. Um, you get more uses than regular, uh, than like the size gels. Um, yeah, I love it. These are like my favorite. I was so excited to see these. So I had to pick some up. Um, Landon's on his backpack actually broke last year, so couldn't get one for him. Then one for me in my diaper bag, especially with baby. And then on clearance, I actually found this. Well, it's a pre-charge, ready-to-use um, power bank. And it looks like this. I thought this would be really good for like my hospital bag. Hey, what? Wait, what is that? It's a charger. A low charger? Mm -hmm. cool. um, so I found this. It's actually a mini rapid charge power bank. Um, and... I don't know. It was actually on clearance for $3. It was originally $10.99, but it's on clearance for $3. So I picked this up. I thought this would be really good to add into my hospital bag because if you guys know when you're at the hospital, it's so hard to charge your phone. And instead of having like a really long charger, I figured I would just get the power bank with like my regular charger. Um, so I got that. That was cute. And then I found this. I couldn't contain myself. Um, it's from Little Me. I don't really know. It's my first Harvest hat and booty set. It's zero to six months. It was seven nineteen. I could. I mean, are we kidding? Are we actually kidding? How freaking cute! I couldn't help myself. I had to get it. So grab that. Um, that's all I got. So say hi. But we're going to go to the doctors now. Going to do our hospital tour. Are you excited to see where mommy's going to have the baby? Yeah. <laughs> no, I got to go to TV. Huh? TV with the baby. No, we're not going to go. We're, we're not going to do an ultrasound on the TV. We're just going to go walk the hospital. I love that. Yeah. Do you need some water? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is leaking. Why is it leaking? You know, I got this at Target, and I got one for Landon, and I got one for Asher. And Asher has been, like, leaking on me. This is what I get for buying a Zac, yeah, a yeah, Zac yeah. water bottle. Every time I have one of the Zac ones, they leak on me. And I've noticed that. And this is this was, like, $15. Here you go, bub. Um, if you don't want, you don't want it? Do you not like these ones? Is that why? Yeah. 
I thought you liked these are chocolate chip. It's like chocolate chip cookies. Oh. All right, well, it's okay if it leaks on you. Um, yeah, let's go to the hospital. We did our tour, and now um, we're he's eating some lunch. Eating some lunch. I packed a lunch because I thought he'd eat on the way back, but I forgot about the Ross here. So I ended up grabbing myself some Chick Fil A. He's eating his sandwich. I'm sharing my French fries with Mister. Um, how did you like the tour? Did you like seeing the hospital? Did you like it? The rooms are actually like super small, um, which I'm not really used to because. Let me look up here. Um, I gave birth Ooh. at a military hospital in the past, and it was like pretty big rooms. My dad is big too. Like, I remember the room I had with Asher, even while birthing, like, it was a big room, and then post, like, the after baby room, it was, like, still pretty big, like, but here, the rooms are tiny. Um, I'm happy because I was under the impression only one person could go in the room with you, but actually... When you are in triage, like before that they put you into like the labor room, before you're in active labor, when you're in triage, you only have one person. And then once you're in active labor, um, you can have as many people in the room as you want, which is good because I want my mom with me. Um, but then, and then the boys can go in that room too if they wanted, but I'm probably not going to have them go in that room. I'm probably going to wait for them to go into the room with me once they're, once I'm in like the baby room, just because I don't, I think it's just gonna be too much. Um, and I'm only in that room for like four hours, like the labor room, so once I have baby. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Got some good info. Um, I mean, it looks like a nice hospital, but I was definitely spoiled because I got I gave birth to both my kids at Fort Carson and a lot of people like don't like the military hospitals but I thought that hospital was really great um by looking at that one looking at this one I'm like eh. so um we are going to go inside this Ross it's a pretty big Ross so we're going to see what they have see if we can find anything it's 11 15 hopefully out of here by 12 just because I want Asher to nap on his way home. I got a lemonade. This is a fig bar. You know that, right? No, you like these ones. These are the ones that you do like. You don't like those? Since when? These are the ones that you do like. Okay. Where's the cat? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm excited to go inside the store. You'd be a good boy. I'm a little sketched out though because this area isn't like my favorite. Uh, just in general, I just feel like really on edge down here. But we'll make it work. We always do. Always be safe. I only have one kid with me, so I feel a little bit more better about that. I'm actually probably going to just save my sandwich. I got it now, but it goes more thirsty than hungry, so I'm going to save that for after. I kind of want to just go ahead and get out. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Ross, see what we can find, if we can find anything for, I know you're eating, so we're going to see if we can find anything for baby, um, for our, we're going to see if we can find anything for our friends, and then We'll head home so Asher can nap and then see what else we can do. I have to put my sourdough actually in the oven too. So, you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, so we went to Ross, another bag. I'm gonna show you quickly what we got while Asher's putting on his seatbelt. I found this whew, 
sensory play. It's Explore and Create Sensory Bin. Um, this is the fish one. There's a fish and a dinosaur, and Asher said fish. Um, so we got this for one of our friends. He's turning three, um, and she's homeschooling him, so I thought this may be, like, fun. I know my kids love sensory play. I don't know if she's going to kill me for getting this, but because it has water beads and sand. But my kids love sensory play, so I found this. I thought it was really cute, so I got this. And I also have a puzzle for him and something else at home, so I think I'm done with him. And then for the baby that's turning one, it's so hard because, like, at one years old, you don't really, like, need toys. Um, and I just got in the car earlier. But I found this outfit, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. I had to get it. Um, it looks like this. It's just like a dinosaur. It's green. It's like a really pretty, like, white cream. He's a tiny little boy, so I got 12 months, and I'm almost positive, like, he's still not even, like, wearing 12 months yet. Uh, he's, like, really skinny, and, like, he's, like, a bean. He's so cute. But I got that. I thought it was really cute. And then I found this for Landon. They were on sale for $3.99. Here, let me help you a little. Um, and he needs more boxers because he's going up in size. So I found these Space Jam ones, um, and it's just like a two set, and it was three ninety nine. You see these that I got for brother? Why did this? More boxers. And I found these, um, honestly, just to kind of have. I'll probably end up using the bottles from the, like, the pump, but I feel like you can never have two many bottles almost. I pretty much breastfeed all my babies. Oh, let me tighten it. Okay, so. Good job. Smart boy. It's good. Yeah. Um, but I needed bottles, so I found this. It was actually on sale for $1.99. Um, and it's a two pack, it's 11 ounces. And it just looks like this. The nipples are on the bottom. And then I, I like it. I got these ones too because they have like the stopper on top. So I think this would be really good also just to store the milk in. Um, but I pretty much exclusively breastfeed. But I do think it'll be nice just to have bottles just for like when I'm pumping or anything like along that. So grab that. So now we're going to go home. Asher's gonna take a nappy with me. No. I'm gonna eat my sandwich on the way home. Cause we have like 30 minute drive. And go make our sourdough bread and then pick up Landon in a little bit. So I'm not You're not taking a nap? No. Okay. Five minutes later. No nap though, right? You're home now. Asher is napping. I am going to score my sourdough. Um, I don't have a razor blade, so I just take a knife and give it just a little cut down the middle and on the sides. Just so that way it can have like, you know, I don't know what it's called. Like the air so it gets in there. I don't know. We're going to let this preheat and basically we are going to... Let it do this and then we're going to put it inside the Dutch oven for 20 minutes with the lid on. And then remove the lid and then like 30 minutes with it off. And it should be good. So, yeah, I'm excited. This bread looks so yummy. I actually haven't made like bread in a while. I'm munching on ice. <laughs> My belly's hanging right out. This is 33 weeks pregnant, you guys. Like, Whenever I can have my belly out, I just have it out because there's nothing worse than being like constricted <laughs> inside your clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm 33 weeks pregnant. I, uh, I've gained 30 pounds so far. This is definitely the most weight I've gained in any of my pregnancies. Um, and you know, some days I'm okay with it. Some days I have a harder time with it, but it is what it is. I will hopefully lose the weight. I'm like 160, 162 I think this morning. So I've gained literally 30 pounds um, before I got pregnant. Actually, before before I got pregnant, 
I was 122. I was like super, super thin. I was working out, eating really clean, um, crazy cardio. I was, I was looking really good. Um, and then I got off my medication and off my birth control and I, the last like six months of 2022, I gained like 10 pounds, but I felt good. Like a lot of it went to like my butt and like my legs, which is something that I've had always a hard time growing. Um, and I felt really good, but then I got pregnant and now, yeah, cause I was like 131 when I got pregnant. Um, like I, I looked good, like I looked healthy. Um, and now I'm 162. So I gained like 30 pounds. I'm probably gonna gain like another five pounds. I just hope I don't go to 170 because I feel like for me, I'm like, I already feel a lot of the weight on my legs, on my arms and my face. Um, my boobs are growing, so it is what it is. But hopefully we lose the weight afterwards, hopefully. Um, but I'm drinking Chick-fil-A. I have just the ice in here. I have just a little bit of water. I'm loving ice this pregnancy. But, yeah, we're gonna cook the sourdough. I'm gonna put this stuff away. The dogs are barking, so I gotta let them in before they wake up Asher. If they wake up Asher, I'm gonna be really upset because he needs a good nap. Let's go, you two. Little meanie. So, but I'm gonna, yeah, empty out this bag make sourdough, and then maybe edit, I don't know. Maybe I'll just see you guys tomorrow. We'll see, I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm actually about to leave the pick up Landon, but our bread is out of the oven. It's been out for a little bit. I ended up dozing off, so <laughs> my second timer I kind of forgot. So it kind of got a little crisp, but she's okay, she's cute. I want to try a piece before we leave, so. As your mommy made bread. So we're gonna leave and pick him up. Did I freeze him? Oh, the crunch. So I haven't actually like made my sourdough in a while, and I feel like maybe She tastes delicious. Um, I will say though, I haven't really been using my sourdough starter. So I feel like she hasn't been getting as many good feeds. So I feel like that could be why, I mean, she's airy, but not as airy as I would have liked. It could have also been, um, I kind of overmixed it. And she's still really good. She's just a little bit not as like fluffy and airy as I would have liked, but she still tastes delicious. I actually like don't feel good. I don't know. It seems like every day right now. Like, right around the afternoon, it's, like, when I start to not feel good. Like, I have, like, a really bad migraine on my eyes. My glasses, like, don't seem to be doing the job for me. Um, I don't know if it's, like, I'm tired. If it's my vision. I don't know what it is, but we're going to take a landing and come home and relax. I'll probably start making dinner shortly after coming home. We're having that pasta tonight. I don't have a bread knife. I need to get a bread knife. Uh, I'm making a pasta tonight, so that's a pretty quick, easy dish. Um, I'm not even sure when Cameron's coming home today. I think he's in a meeting, so he's going to be a little bit later. But tomorrow, I have another maternal fetal medicine ultrasound appointment for the baby, and it's going to be like a full scan. It's gonna take me a little bit. So Asher's actually gonna stay with my friend Natalie and her son Eli. Um, because it is like an hour long appointment. And I don't know if that's gonna be like too long for Asher to sit still. So she's gonna watch it for me. Tomorrow we should get a better idea of my birth plan. And if I'm still gonna get induced at 37 weeks. Um, because this whole time, as of the past like 
month and a half, I've been told I'm going to give birth at 37. They're not going to let me go further. My blood pressure's been really good, so I may be able to continue. I did not go to Tricord today and get my blood work done just because... I got my lab drawn on Friday, so I just didn't feel like it was necessary, but I'm probably going to have to go either Tuesday or Wednesday to get, probably Wednesday maybe, to get my labs, <sighs> my labs drawn. Wednesday I'll probably go get my labs drawn so that way if they need it. I have an appointment on, I think Thursday this week too with my OB. So, so many appointments. I feel like all I'm at is at the hospital. <laughs> But, lots to do. I'll let you know how my part tomorrow goes though, but I'm a little nervous. Mm -hmm.